Hello, Kanatong Tanan, and welcome to my MMW class. So, ato ang hisbutan karon ang statistics. Unsa de ang statistics? Statistics involves the collection, organization, presentation, and interpretation of data. So, process ni siya at tumakitan po ni siya sa research wherein ang mga researchers mag-collect of data at tong i-organize at tong i-present para masabdan and then i-interpret kung unsay buot ipasabot ato ng mga data. There are two branches of statistics. The first one is the descriptive statistics. This is used to describe the basic features of the data in a study. So, um... Some of the examples of descriptive statistics is knowing the average score, wanting to know the population of a certain area, um, pila sa kabuok ang susante na na-enroll sa Osaka institution, pila kabuok ang male, pila kabuok ang female. Those are examples of descriptive statistics. You're just describing the whole population. The second one is inferential statistics. This is the other branch that interprets and draws conclusion from the data. So, typically, this is where we do hypothe hypothesis testing. So, this is where we solve for correlations and significant difference. So, today, we're going to talk about more on the descriptive side of Statistics. Statisticians often collect data from small portions of a large group in order to determine information about the group. In such a situation, the entire group is considered as the population. So, ang mga statistician, mukolekt ta og data or mukolekt silag mga data from a small portion of the large group. The large group is called your population, the whole population. If mag-uha ratag sample from that, the subset of the large group is the sample population. We can see here that the whole population, like for example, this is the whole area of Cebu, and then mag-uha ka og sample na mga respondents ni Mogikan sa whole area. Why is that we all, we just need the sample to save time, to save money, and also to save our effort. Okay, class, imuha ng pangutan on tanan na nagpuyo sa Cebu, whole population, murag, maugmaan yun, di yun maugmaan, maabdan pa nagpila ka tuig before mahuma ng imong research. Anyway, ang kaning sample population, this would be the representative. This would be the representative from the whole population. So, mauna siya. Okay, so let's start with the measures of central tendency. We have three measures of central tendency, the mean, median, and the mode. So, let's start with mean. To solve for mean, all we have to do is to sum all the data values given divided by the number of cases. So, here we have x bar. This is x mean, which is, this is the mean. Summation is equals to the summation of x over n, where the summation of x means imuharang i-add ta ng mga numbers or data na gihatag. n here is the number of cases, so pila kabuok ang data din hi imuhang gisuwat. So for, so, for example, ato ang sulbon ang yearly salaries of all five landscape architects from last year's senior class. So, these are the offers they received sa ilahang yearly salary. So, there are five datas or cases. So, atong buhaton ani, igo ra na to i-add each data and divided by five. Okay, class, these are the data. We have this one. We are going to add everything on the numerator that would equal to 206,500 divided by 5. So, the mean is $41,300. That's how you solve for the mean or the average. 
Another example is browse grade during high school or the following 85, 90, 87, 93, 91, 88, 88, and 86. So we're going to solve his average grade. So we are going to add the data divided by the number of cases. So there are eight scores. So the answer would be 708 divided by 8. So the, his average grade is 88.5. Approximately, that is 89.89. So that is the average of his score. Now let's proceed to the median. Median is the middle number or the mean of the two middle numbers. In a list of numbers that have been arranged in numerical order from the smallest to largest. So, ato ang i-arrange ang data from smallest to largest or vice versa. And we're going to look at the middle number. That would be the median. So, the middle number, if it is odd, then automatically the middle number is the median. On the other hand, if ang imuhang number of cases is even, then ang mahitabuan na na kay possibility of duha ang naasa tunga-tunga na values nato. So kung duha ka buk ang naasa tunga-tunga na value at ang buhaton is ato na siyang i-add, i-divide o do, that would be our median value. Okay. For example, 4, 8, 1, 14, 9, 21, and 12. Ang buuna na itong buhaton is ato sa siyang i-arrange from least to greatest. And afterwards, atong i-determine ang iyahang middle na value. Since pila ni kabuk, 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. It's 7 ang number of cases which is odd. Automatic ang tunga-tunga ani is our median. So, ato rang tang-awon ang tunga-tunga. So, 1, 2, 3, 4. 1, 2, 3, 4. So, kani sinay ng ato ang tunga-tunga na value. So, that is our median. The second example is we have 46, 23, 92, 89, 77, and 108. So, first is we are going to arrange it from least to greatest. And we determine the, mid the middle number. How many cases? There are 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. There are 6 cases or there are 6 scores. This is an even number. So, meaning nati duha katu middle numbers. So, we have here 77 and 89. What we're going to do is to add your 77 plus 89 and then divide it by 2 to get our median. So, mani siya ang median. So, 77 plus 89 that would be 166 divided by 2 that is 83. So, therefore, I am our median here is middle value here is 83. Three. Okay. So next is the mode. The mode is the frequent or the most frequently occurring number in the sequence. So buti pa sa botanikin sa pinakadaghang nagbalik balik. So namantay data raw data dari sa obo sa tumbuhaton at usang ilista. Kung pilay kapila siya, nagbalik-balik for us to know the mode. So, 2. Kapila, balik 2. So, we have 1, 2. Itali lang na to. 1, 2, 3. So, tulo. So, node 4. Pila ka 4. 1, 2. So, 1, 2. Okay. Next is, we have 6. Ang 6 kay usara ka buk. Okay, next is 7. So, 1, 2. Duha ka 7. 1, 2. Next is 8. Usa ka 8. Usa ka 8. And 9. Pila ka 9. 1, 2, 3. So, tulo ka buo 9. 
So, unsa man ang number na daghan og frequency or nagsigig balik-balik, natay duha. Ang 2 ug ang 9 katulo sila ga balik-balik. So, kung natay duha ka mode, itawag ni siya bimodal. So, atong mode ani na data is 2 and 9. And this is bimodal because it has 2 mode. Kung usara siya ka mode, itawag siya unimodal, duha by modal, tulu trimodal, more than 3, that would be multimodal. So, the mode of a least number is a number that occurs the most frequently. So, I have here another example. So, we have 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 11, and 12. So, the mode is 2. How about example 3? Wala siya'y number na nag-repeat no? Balik-balik. So, therefore, it has no mode or there's no mode. None. So, the mean, median, and the mode are all averages. However, they are generally not equal. The mean of a set of a data is the most sensitive of the averages. Nga mang sensitive. Kay class, ang mean sensitive siya, maapiktuha na siya sa mga extreme values. Kung nasa extreme values, ang imuhang mean, mausab ang imuhang average score. In contrast, the median and the mode of a set of data are usually not changed by changing an extreme value. For example, class, I have here 10, 12, 12, 16, and 21. So, if I'm going to solve the mean here, the mean would be... Um, 10 plus 12, we're going to add everything, 12 plus 12 plus 16 plus 21 divided by 5. That would be equals to 71 divided by 5, which is equals to 14.2. Okay, that is the mean. After the mean, let's solve the median. Median. Okay, the median is the middle part. So, kung sa may naa sa tunga, tunga ani niya. So, that is 12. So, 12 is our median. And the mode, and the mode is ang katong nagsigig balik-balik. So, ang sigig balik-balik kayong 12. So, parihatag median o iyahang mode. So, ang gimin na ng extreme values class, for example, na'y nakakuha sa, sa grado or score na gamay ka ayo 1. And then, nasa'y nakakuha o 23. So, this is now your extreme value pinakagamay o pinakadako. So, kung atong tanahon, sulbo na to si mean, i-adra ni tanan, will have 95 divide over 7 na ang data. So, that will give us 13.57. So, pag change or pag puno na to sa mga extreme values na usab ang ato ang mean score, maoto siya na ang mean, ang gininde rin na the mean can be drastically changed drastically changed by extreme values however your mean and your median if we solve this one the median ang tunga tunga nato it's still the same it's still 12 and our mode is still 12 so ang median og ang mode dili siya maapektuhan sa extreme changing values okay these are the questions or practice exercises that you can do. Yeah. Thank you so much for listening in this discussion and have a great day.